Hello everyone, this is Adam Walton with AEW Main Treasure Adventure. Today I'm going to go over how I make my floating Sith. And the float that I use to put all my finds in when I'm underwater metal detector. First thing I start with is 10 feet of Charlotte pipe. I typically use either one inch or today I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to use half an inch C PVC pipe. This one's going to be 16 inches by 16 inches. Now I've already marked some of my pipes and I'll just kind of quickly show you what I do with every single one of the pipes. I put it up to a ruler. I measure out what I want. I mark it up. Next, after I've marked it, one eighty grit sandpaper. This is typically what I use. Just go on the outside of the pipe, on the inside, and then I usually do on the tips too. Now, normally. I recommend doing this outside, not in your kitchen. However, it's cold outside and I really don't feel like going out there today. Now that I'm done cutting all my pipes, is I take some professional grade PVC and C PVC pipe primer. I go on the outside of the pipe. I usually go about an inch or so. This typically dries pretty quick. Now clearly I'm not a professional plumber. There's probably better ways I can do this comes to using this primer and the cement I have windows open right now ideally you should be in a nice ventilated place outside is perfect while I'm waiting for the pipes to dry I will take my 90 degree elbows now here I just do the very outside and then inside it'll kind of look like that all right, and then I go back, I put my second coat on. These are all dry. And I just do the same exact thing I did before. If you guys want to know what I use, do it best, purple primer. And the cement, you can get in a, a two-pack. I put a little cement on the outside, a lot of cement on the inside. And then on my pipe, I will put the cement on the outside and on the end. Those are my two halves. That allows me to put the floaties on, and then I'll do the last elbows and attach everything. All right, so now that our halves have dried, I've already measured out. I'm gonna have to trim it up a little bit. I'm gonna slide this one all the way to the end of the elbow. You wanna try to do it as quick as you can. Now on this, I push down the noodle. I quickly go around the pipe and then I will attach it. That's the first one. Now these two are actually going to be a little bit bigger. When I do this one, it's going to end up being smaller. So that's why I do the two opposite sides first. Now it is perfectly fine to eyeball this, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to float. We just need the same size as the one we just did, eyeball it real quick, mark it up, and cut it. Now we're on to the last one. 
Now, as far as the cement goes, I'm using last year's cement. So, usually it's a lot easier to work with <laughs> than what I'm dealing with right now, but that's okay. To get the mesh net attached to everything, I use two things. Either nylon, or in this case, this is what I have, this is what I'm going to use. It's yarn and uh, zip ties. And I usually will do five or six zip ties on each side, along with the yarn. Now there'll probably be comments saying how I could have done this better, and honestly, I probably agree with you. If you got better suggestions, I'll listen to them. Maybe when I build the next one, I'll incorporate some of those. Then again, maybe I won't. Now my blue one, I built that, I want to say, four years ago or five years ago. It's still my go-to one. I've never used any others. So essentially, this is what it's going to look like. This will go in the water. And I'll be able to uh, sift anything that I want. The last thing I do is I'll take zip ties and I just go around the whole outside and just weave it through and I go as tight as I can. The main reason that I do this is just to make it a little bit more sturdy and make it so those, my little ties, don't slip out. Alright, now that all the zip ties are on, last thing I do, I just cut them back. Alright, this is just to give you a size comparison. So this is what I usually use. This is 2 feet by 2 feet. And this is typically what I carry all my stuff out, including my metal detector, my GoPro, GoPro holder, anything that I'm bringing out with me. This one I'm only going to be using for sifting out mud and dirt. This is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. I want to thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video and, and feel free to add a comment on what you would like to see me do on the next adventure. AEW out.